Hey everyone, so Jellybean here, and we're back with some Call to Arms tutorials. This is just the basics on some of the grenades and throwables, just to help some of the new players learn what grenades do and what they're effective against. So we'll start with the F1 grenade, which is your standard pineapple looking fragmentation grenade. This is what the Russians used. The Germans had something similar as well, but the more known for the stick grenades, but it kills infantry. That's pretty decent area of effect, obviously adjusted for balance in the game. Then you've got the M24 stick grenade, which was a German hand grenade, but this is not fragmentation, even though the wood can fragment. It's a charge, explosive charge. Comes from World War One when they had offensive and defensive grenades, so that can be very effective. And they also can do some light damage to vehicles, but very little amounts. But it's more is a stronger explosion, so it's a concussive grenade, so less area of effect, more damage. Then the M24 splinter has got a fragmentation sleeve on it. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the explosiveness of the M24 with that fragmentation sleeve. So you get a high explosive, concussive force, and fragmentation. As you can see, the little fragmentation pieces, the steel on the grenade there. Then you've got the M32, which is a finished grenade. I believe it was adapted from a mortar round. I couldn't find too much info on it. But there's also the M32 stick, which is also the finished grenades. And I believe this could be used against anti-tank grenades because of its high explosive. You can see it's more of an explosive charge. No fragmentation marking on it. Then you've got the M36 impact grenade, which I believe is similar to the Mills bomb, which could be used, obviously, thrown and blow up on contact, but also could be adapted to be used as a rifle grenade. I couldn't find too much info on that. I'm sure someone will correct me. Then we've got the M33 Russian fragmentation grenade. And as you can see, the little fragmentation bits on the sheet slit on the uh, sleeve on it there. But that is a fragmentation grenade, even though it looks similar to some of the anti tank grenades. This is an interesting one. This is a German magnetic mine, which they developed because they thought the Russians were making magnetic mines, which they don't believe they did much. And it was actually pretty poor in the war because you had to place it, well, it was supposed to be clamped on, which is very difficult to do. In this game, you just throw it. It's very powerful. It's normally carried by, I believe, pioneers, I think, have one. And sometimes, I think, late war anti tank teams do get them. Very powerful, though, can take out some of the heaviest tanks. Then you've got the Bundle grenade or the Gabalate Ladung. Basically, seven M24s strapped together, and one was active. The other ones had their fuses taken out and the handles removed, as you can see there. And the idea is you're basically making a small anti tank weapon. That's why these are quite effective against tanks when people are thinking, why are they chucking loads of fragmentation grenades? They're not frags. It's basically making a small bomb. I believe it weighed about 1.6 kilos, so it's quite a bit of explosive. And then obviously, Satchel Chargers, that's the Russian one, I believe, because I think it might be similar to the German one as well. Obviously, high explosive, about three kilos of explosive on that. Then you've got your Molotov bundle, obviously Molotov strapped together, more powerful, various Molotovs. This is an interesting one, the AT grenade, the Lang, which is a dart anti-tank grenade developed by the Germans. Supposedly the Russians had one as well. But this is the German one, and the fins come out, and you throw it at a tank like a small dart, like a hand thrown Panzerfaust. <laughs> it was more used by Luftwaffe rifle troops, I believe. I'm guessing they get it in the game, I'm going to have to check up on that. But very interesting grenade, weird design. So, so the Germans had some weird grenades. And then we've obviously got the Russian anti tank grenades, the RPG series, before they started getting shot. This is when they were thrown, quite effective. And then obviously, various smoke grenades, they're the ones out of your tanks. That's the German, I think it's the M, is it the M36 smoke grenade? But that's the German smoke grenade, obviously Russian smoke. And one thing I will mention, white phosphorus smoke grenades, be careful. These will light things on fire. These can also be used to burn tanks out if you're very, very lucky. And more smoke grenades here, some various, I think that's the Russian one. That's from vehicles, vehicle smoke grenade. Smoke generator, that's from larger vehicles. And that's more Russian smoke. I believe, and more Russian smoke. So just a little quick video on some of the grenades. Hope that's helped out. Obviously, ask any questions, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.